Hi everyone, I'm Debra. Welcome to Fine Foods Blog. We are going to be making some chocolate mousse. Now when you think of chocolate mousse, you might think it's very fancy and it's very old school. And it is both of those things, but it's also really easy to make. It's fun to make for a fancy dinner party or a holiday meal, but you can also make it in the summertime when you want a rich decadent dessert, but you don't want to turn on the oven and heat up the house. We only need a few ingredients to make this recipe. Four tablespoons of butter, four eggs that have been separated, two tablespoons of sugar, six ounces of chocolate, half a cup of heavy cream, and two ounces of orange liqueur. Now this recipe is not for the kitties. It's got booze in it. And you could leave the booze out or you could just make something else for the kids. Um, but really you can leave the booze out if you don't want to add it. The recipe will turn out just fine. Another point, why did I say six ounces of chocolate and not what cup of chocolate or half a cup of chocolate? Well, because what kind of chocolate are you using? Are you going to use chocolate chips? Are you going to use these kind of big flat ones that I have? Or are you going to use more of the mini chocolate chips? Are you going to chop a block of chocolate yourself. All of this is going to affect how much chocolate would get into a measuring cup if I were to tell you that. So if you use a scale and measure your chocolate, your recipes are going to just be more consistent every time. They're going to come out a little bit better. You can count on that flavor. So I'm going to measure my chocolate here, get it on my scale, set my tear. I'm going to take the weight of that bowl off. And then I'm going to measure out my chocolate chips. Just need a couple more in there. All right, that looks good. Now, the first step in the recipe is melting the chocolate over some simmering water on the stove. So we're going to place the glass bowl over a pot of simmering water and let the chocolate melt down gently so it doesn't break. When melting the chocolate, you want to make sure that the water is not touching the bottom of the bowl and that it's not boiling. You just want a gentle simmer. Okay, it looks like the chocolate is completely melted and smooth, so we're going to remove it from the heat, and the next step is to add the liquor. When you add the liquor to the chocolate, it's going to look funny. It's going to look curdled and crunchy and very weird, and you're going to want to panic, but don't panic. Just keep stirring, and it will turn out perfectly. Here we go. Popping it in there, start to whisk it in, and see, oh, it looks kind of weird. Keep going. Still looks weird, but keep going. <laughs> the first time I made this, I really thought I had messed it up, but I kept going, and it turned out. All right, see, now it's getting better. Starting to get nice and smooth. Ooh, I can really smell it, too. All right, now we're going to add the butter one pat at a time, one tablespoon at a time. Okay, last pat of butter, and you can see that this is giving the chocolate a really nice glossy texture. And we just want to make sure that all of the butter is fully incorporated before we move on to the next step. Now that's done, so let's add our egg yolks one at a time. And just mix them in until they're fully incorporated as well. You just want to make sure that you're not leaving kind of any stragglers behind. That's why it helps to do this one at a time. It might seem a little time consuming, but really it just helps to keep everything smooth. All right, last one. We only have a couple more steps and we're going to be ready for chocolate mousse. It's time to whip our egg whites. I'm just going to use a hand mixer here with the whisk attachment. You could certainly pull a Julia child and get out your whisk and do it by hand if you want, but I'm going to make things a little easier on myself. While we are whisking the egg whites, we're going to add the sugar at the same time. We don't want to add all the sugar at the end because that would just deflate all the volume that we were working so hard to create. So here we go.
So now we have nice soft peaks on our egg whites and we're gonna mix it into the chocolate mixture. And we're gonna do that gradually. We don't wanna deflate all of the fluffiness that we just worked so hard to create. So we're gonna start by putting a quarter of this mixture into the chocolate, then we'll incorporate the rest. Here we go. Pop a little of that in there. And you wanna just be sure to gently fold it. Again, you're keeping that volume. Right about now you might be thinking, Deborah, this is not looking very delicious. And you would be right, but it will look delicious very soon, I promise. Okay, that's looking good, so let's get the rest of the egg whites in there. Okay, now our egg whites are fully mixed in and we're on to the last step. We're gonna whip our cream. Remember to clean the egg whites off your whisk attachment before you do this or it's gonna mess up your whipped cream. Okay, here we go. Okay, <laughs> whipped cream is ready. Now we're gonna do that same process as we did with the egg whites. We're just gonna add a little bit of this first and then incorporate everything at once. Okay, that's looking good. Let's add the rest of our whipped cream. You gotta get it all out. It's the good stuff, whoops. And again, you're just gently incorporating this. We have all of that nice volume. All right, all of the whipped cream is fully incorporated into the chocolate mixture. Now let's get it into some dishes so it can go into the fridge and set up for two hours. I am going to use these cute little glasses and this might be a bigger serving of chocolate mousse than an average French person would have, but I'm good with it. Looks so nice and fluffy. Okay, perfect. So we are gonna cover this with saran wrap and like I said, two hours in the fridge and you'll be ready to go. But thanks to the magic of television, I already have some ready for us to try. All right, so let's try our chocolate mousse. It's rich and it's decadent, but it's also light and fluffy and it's very fancy and it's very old school. It's chocolate mousse. So for the full recipe, please visit finefoodsblog.com and search for chocolate mousse. Also be sure to sign up for my email list to get recipes delivered directly to your inbox. Thanks so much for watching. See you again soon.